Hey everybody, my name is Spencer and welcome to this stream or playback, depending on when you're watching it, of Chai, the solo version of Chai. Now this is the solo deluxe version, meaning that these are the rules if you bought the deluxe edition or, or plan on buying the deluxe edition. Comes with dice that you'll be playing with. Um, and the rule states that you have to play your game with a cup of tea, like this. Mm. All right, that's good. I'm actually drinking chai. Did you know that chai means tea? So it's like tea, tea, if you call it chai tea. Um, and I'm wearing my T-Rex t-shirt. I hope you caught that. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to play chai. This is by Steeped Games, and they were grateful enough, or I'm grateful for them, to send me a copy for me to play and then also review. So be looking next week, depending again on when you watch this, for my upcoming review of chai. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and come on come on over to the board and here we are and look at me i'm on a hot air balloon it's like i'm floating above looking down at the village <laughs> uh, i'm going to get you <laughs> i have too much fun sometimes okay all right so in chai what you're trying to do is Fulfill orders. So you've got, uh, let me go to the close up one. Uh, see, you can see the mat. You've got various order cards that have requirements. So you got people on them doing something. And then um, you've got like some market ingredients, which are usually like spices. And then you've got flavor tiles. Uh, flavor, or not, those are the market ones. The tiles or the tokens are from the pantry. So there's also a point value that you get whenever you fulfill an order. And um, you, depending on how many people are playing, you will have this row filled up. I only have, I'm playing against an AI, so there's two of us. So uh, I only have this many filled in. This is a turn reminder to tell me what's going on each turn. We've got some ability cards that I'll be able to use if I need to. And we've got this really cool market that I love the uh, mechanic of the market. It, feel, it reminds me a little bit of Potion Explosion, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Got some cool coins, and um, of course, some amazing little cups. Excellent quality. You could actually drink from them. I don't know if anybody ever has, but I might. I'm going to pause here for a sip. Good for my throat. Okay. So, I'm playing against the... Oh, I just realized... A lot of stuff that I was showing. Or you can't see me in this view, but that's okay. Um, now you can see me. Here I am. So I'm playing against an AI, and their actions are determined by these dice right here. And each turn, when it's their turn, I roll the dice, and it'll tell us what to do. So I start the game. We each start with two coins, uh, or a silver coin, which is worth two. And we each have um, some T tokens. So it's the type of tea that you're making. So I've got rubus. I think that's how you say it. Oh, crud. I forget what blue is. The blue tea is, is what the AI has. And let's name the AI. What does AI stand for? Um, Alex Idiot. That's who the AI is going to be. Alex Idiot. And um, hopefully that proves to be true. All right. So this game is five rounds as tracked by this. I'll show it this way. This thermometer, you can do it in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Since I'm American, American, I'm going to do Fahrenheit. So we start at 32 degrees Celsius. That's cold water. And um, I'll go first. So on your turn, you've got three things that you can do. You can visit the market, which you'll go here and get uh, flavor tiles. You can take three items from the pantry. Come over here and get these. And there's a bag over here with more pantry items. You can do like a mix of either. You can go two from the pantry or and one from the bag or one from here and two from there or all three from the bag. Just depends on what you want to do. Um, and then finally, the other action you can do is reserve a customer and use an ability. So if there's a customer out there that you think somebody is going to get and you want to uh, finish it before they do, you can grab it and then also use one of these abilities. Uh, that will be helpful as well. So um, that's what you have to do on each turn. And then if you have the the uh, ingredients to brew some tea for your customer, you can end your turn by doing that. And you'll toss them over here in their teacup, and you'll serve it to them. They may or may not give you a tip, depending on how well you did. And um, that's a turn. 
So there are five rounds, and in a two-player game, as soon as two orders have been filled, we go on to the next round. So that's what's going to happen. So I'll go first. Um, normally, you start with a a order a, an you start with an order card, and um, but we don't do that this time. It's just we don't start with that because of the solo mode. So I'm going to look. I want uh, normally I want to get a card that is my color, which is red, because I'm going to use my T token to make it, which means I don't have to pay anything. If I do a blue card, I have to take one of their blue T tokens. But in order to do that, I have to pay them for it. So I want to try to avoid uh, doing blue. Now, this only red one out here on the beginning is a difficult one to fill or to fulfill right off the bat. Um, you've got six tokens that you need and one honey. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it, though. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need some tiles, some market tiles. So I'm going to go to the market. First thing you do when you go to the market is you get three gold. Boy, I wish that happened to me every time I went to the store. Here's three gold to spend. You keep whatever's left over. Thanks. Thanks, store. Okay. Um, so what do I want? Okay, so here's how the market works. I said it's like potion explosion. What you do is you pick an, a flavor and all ingredients of that of that flavor uh, adjacent to it, you get to take all of those. So there's not a good example here. So in this case, it's a real easy example. You can take one yellow, but you you take one yellow and you get to take both of these because they're the same. Here's a wild tile. This one can be anything. So if I want to take all this uh, ginger, I believe is what that is, I get to take all three. And I can later use that wild as something else. So I don't need that. I need strawberry. Uh, is that lavender and uh, lemon along with some honey? So I need to set myself up so I can get lots of strawberry. So in order to do that, I'd have to take, I could take that. I could take these. I need to take at least one of these out. So I could take this purple. I need that. So I'm going to spend one of these. So I'll get two back and take this. And then it slides down like that. We don't refill it till after my turn. Now I have this interesting situation. Um, I could buy no, but then that would yeah, it would. Do I need? I might need it later on. So I have I have the money to do it because um, you have to pay the price of the highest one um, that it's connected to. So in this case, in order to get these two ginger, I have to pay two coins. So I'm going to take that, pay the two, and then get these and put them down. And you can buy as many things as you want on your turn as long as you have the money for it. And then finally, I'm going to take all four of these red, uh, these strawberries. So I can go one, two, three, four, since I'm counting this as red. Camera's out of focus. Oh, no. Thanks, Matt, for letting me know. Hold on. It's really hard to focus a camera when you're by yourself. Is this any better? Uh, is the camera any better? I'll assume that it is until Matt says something. I'll make. I'll take a drink of tea. Okay. Um, all right, and now I'm going to pay, since this is the two, I've got to pay two to get it. So I'm going to pay my two and get all of these. Boom, boom, boom. Everything slide. The one pointed at the board. Oh, that one. Well, that's easy to fix. There we go. That's embarrassing. Okay. Well, I got a little exercise while getting up. Okay. Um, thank you. It's looking good because I'm in it. I got to get back in my hot air balloon. Okay. So I think that's all I can do. I'm out of coins. I don't have anything else to, uh, to spend. So I go ahead and refill the market. You go the top, top to bottom, left to right. How's it going, Matt? You having a good day? 
I know I am. There's a strawberry on the side. Okay. Now it is uh, Alex Idiot, I believe is what we named him for AI. So he's going to go and boom. All right. So all he does is get some money. So he gets three gold and a two, a two silver. Now, he's going to get coins a lot, I've realized, as I played the last time. Um, but, and, and it might seem like that's not a big deal, but coins count as money, or uh, coins count as points at the end of the game. Um, so the more points, or the more coins he gets, the more points he gets. So that's not always a good thing. Um, good. Glad to hear, Matt, that your day is going great. Uh, make sure you have your tea. If you don't have any, go grab some. I'm drinking chai, which is also another word for tea. Okay, so he just gets money, and now it's back over to me. Now I have, I have all the strawberry I need. I need a lemon, because I can use this as a wild, look at all, I've got plenty of lemon to choose from. But do I want to, I don't, oh, I don't, oh yeah, I get to go and get this every time I go. I don't know that I want to spend three to get three lemon. I'm not, I'm just going to do this so I can. Get some money back. That gives me two back. This slides down. I could buy the purple, the lavender, and save my wild tile. I think I'm going to do that. Since it only costs one, I'm going to buy this. It slides down, and that's all I'm going to buy. Now, the only thing I need left to do to fulfill this order is to get some honey from the pantry. Oh look, there's another wild. Oh wow, that's a lot of lavender. If that is lavender. Okay, so that was my turn. Now it's Alex's turn. Okay, so Alex is going to get a random tile or random ingredient from the pantry and then a random flavor tile now when it comes to fulfilling orders for Alex um, he does not have it doesn't matter what tiles he pays just as long as he has the right amount um, it's so that's easy for him to fulfill an order that way um, whenever that happens actually uh, what you do is at the end of his turn you look and see if he has the ingredients necessary to fulfill one. And at this point, he does not. He would need one more uh, pantry tile in order to fill this one. Okay, back over to me. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get some honey. Remember, you can come over here and get three. You can also pay a coin to wipe everything. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to get this. If I'm looking at other orders, I'll get these two. Since it's the end of my turn, I'm going to refill... And also, it's the end of my turn, and I've got everything I need to fulfill this order. So I take my sh three strawberry, two lavender, a lemon, a rubus tea token, and the honey, and drop it in the cup. Ah, that's a nice cup of tea. Uh, the captain over here, he's really happy with this tea. Or let's see. Let's see if he gave me a tip. Oh, no! <laughs> It's blank. That means I got no tip. Curse you, Captain. We'll call you Captain Jerk. All right. I still get the points for him. So, Okay. Now it is... Oh, we refill, refill this. Whoop. Now it's Alex's turn. Here we go. All right. So a random tile... And two coins. Can Alex fulfill any order? No. Close. Very close. Back to me. Over here, I need ginger, mint, honey, or uh, lime. <laughs> ginger, mint, lemon, and sugar. I don't have sugar. 
So I'm gonna have to go over there. Ooh, if I, re ooh, ooh, this is how you save time. So I'm gonna reserve this card, which lets me use an ability. So I'll put him here. And I wanna make sure there are explanations for each of these ability cards. So I wanna make sure I'm doing the right thing. May take one pantry item from the pantry board for free. Beautiful. So I reserved him. And now I get to take this sugar, which is what I need for this dude's tea. Okay. And I need a refill. Okay. A juggler. And I'm going to have to pay Alex some money. Okay. Now it's Alex's turn. He's not making anything. But he's about to. Okay. So he gets a coin and a random there. Okay, so he has he now has stuff to make. Um, so you always start from going left to right, and it goes this way. Can't make that, this, he can make that. So he takes two of these, this, and a blue leaf tea token. Tea brood. Let's see. So he'll take this. Does he get a tip? He does, what? Three. That's not right. Okay, so now that both teacups orders have been filled, we start a new round. So first thing needs to happen is it's gonna, I'm, I like to toss everything out so that it's fresh and open whenever I make my next. So we put another tip token here, another one here. We remove these. Slide it down. Oops, I'm not supposed to put them back in the back. Oh well. Give the good mix. Strawberry. Oh. Okay. Hmm. It is my turn. Oh, there's something else I'm supposed to do. Oh, he will. How is that worded again? That's a funky thing. Funky thing. If AI player goes first to the new round, replace the further left. No, he's not going first, so I don't have to do that. But I, I believe, want to become famous. Of course I do, DX Becker 2302. I just need to go to um, bigfollows.com. Yeah, okay. I I just, who, who doesn't want to become famous? Okay. So I think I go ahead and replace one. All right, this is going to be a weird one that I don't know what it means, so we'll put it here. Oh, I know what it means. You take two of yours to replace one from here. Hi. Nice to see you, Wendelius. I like your name, Wendelius. Okay. So now it's a new round. I forgot where I was for a minute. I'm here doing a live stream. So it is my turn to go. I need... A couple more things. I just need a, I actually have a wild, so really all I need is a lemon or a mint. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'll, oh, I'm gonna go to the market, so I get three coins. <laughs> uh, okay, I put three coins, I'm gonna spend two, so I get one back, so that I get these two lemon. Okay. And since I'm going to stop buying, I refill. And I believe I have everything to complete this order. So I've got a sugar, lemon, lime, and ginger. So complete. This dude is now a happy camper, happy customer. Well, let's see. Yes. Well, kind of. He only gave me a copper, one little coin, but it's better than nothing. Okay. 
So now we need one more order before the round's over. Oops, I forgot to take keep track of the round on this thermometer. So now it's 77 degrees. Okay, going over here, it's time for Alex's turn. It's gonna roll. Boom, all right, he gets three coins and a random tile. Doesn't matter. Go there. All right, I believe he can fulfill something. No, he can't. Cannot fulfill anything. Thank goodness for that. Do you have to buy from the market from the market from one row in order? You don't have to buy in any order from the market. You just choose which one you want. And then if it connects to any other of the same type, you get to take all of those. So if I were to take uh, this purple one, I can just go in, pick this one, and I get this one along with it. Um, and since this is a wild, I could also take that one as well. Um, so it's really neat. There's a lot of freedom there. Um, there's not a whole lot of restrictions, and you've got that ability to chain some things and um, set yourself up for more um, matches to be able to get that. It's kind of like potion explosion a little bit. Okay, um, my turn. Oops, I didn't put I didn't put my Rubus in that T. No wonder he only gave me a coin. Okay. So now I'm going to have to do a blue order, which means I'm going to have to use blue's T, which means I have to pay them. So I don't need these right now. I've got... I've got these two. So, ooh, this is 11 pointer too. So I need strawberry and mint and milk. I don't have milk, so I'll need all those things. I did not refill this either. So strawberry and mint. If I go over here, these are all the way back here. So as an example, I'm going to pay. You go to the market, you automatically get three coins or three gold, and then you pay for the highest priced one. So if I take this strawberry... I get a wild, which costs me two, so I get one back. I get these two. You slide like that. And if I had planned better, I could have made these green. Actually, you know what? I've got the money to do it. So I'm going to pay two to take this strawberry. And now those green have come together, and I can take all of those by paying two. Dum, dum, dum. I don't need them all, but they could come in handy later on. So this slides down. Dum, do, 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 do. I'm not a big tea drinker, but having tried this chai for the exact purposes of playing this game. I enjoy it. I like it. It tastes good. I normally drink coffee in the afternoon, but um, an afternoon coffee is, or an afternoon tea is, is quite lovely. Okay, so that was my turn. I can't do this yet because I don't have the milk. All I need is the milk. So, yes, I am a big spender. Uh, Wendelius, I am a big spender. Only when it comes to tea, though, and board games, of course. Okay. So we rolled the dice for AI, Alex Idiot. Man, he's not doing any orders at all. This is going to be easy for me. Random tile. And three gold. And can he fulfill anything? He can. So he's going to fulfill an order. Uh, this one right here. So it's going to be one, two, three tiles and a blue token. Again... Whenever he fulfills an order, the type of token, type, type of tile doesn't matter. Um, so it's easier for him to actually fulfill an order. So he's going to go here. Boom. Fulfills this one. Let's see what kind of reward he gets. One, two, three, four. I'll put that on. A tip. Yep, he got one little coin. It's from a little boy. He doesn't have much money. So, oh. I saved the day. Okay. So now I refill, and that's the end of the round, uh, because two teacups have been 
filled. Two orders have been filled. And that's dependent on the number of players, by the way. Since there are two players, we do two teacups for each. You add a teacup for each player that is playing. Okay, so it's my turn again, but we have to refresh the whole round. So we take the first three. I did it again. I'm not supposed to put those back in the bag. Okay, and then um, it's the person whose turn it is gets to uh, replace going into the next round gets to replace these. So I'm going to, I like this one, but, or in this one too. I'm gonna get this. Okay, so I actually think, nope, I'm not gonna be able to do that this round. It's like Charlie Sheen. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do first, I guess is I need to come over here and get some milk. So you can take any three from here or from the back. So I'll take this. Let's see what my next one's gonna be. I need to take some honey and some sugar. I don't have any of those. Boom, boom, boom. And now I refill. Done. Okay. So that's my turn. Now it is AI Alex's turn. There we go. There he's gonna do an order. All right, two coins. And now, the way this works is you look and see what the lowest value one, value order is, which is this one. And you take a T token and put it in, oops, I didn't put new tips out. Or dump these. Oh, there it goes. Off the table. So this goes in there. He doesn't actually, like, you don't, dump it out yet or you don't fulfill an order whenever you roll the check mark it just means he takes the order card which would be this and that goes in there and uh, that's it so then we refill okay um so now i have everything i need to get number 11 or this point whatever thing <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reserve this so that i can do it on my turn um when you reserve a card, you get to do an ability. So since I reserved a card, I'm going to fulfill an order and get three coins. So I'm going to re fulfill this. So I need one strawberry, one yellow, one lemon, one uh, mint, one ginger, and milk. I'm going to put it in here. Boop. Fulfill that. Oops, I need a... Oh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> Bad news. I have, I'm supposed to pay blue because I have to use a blue token because it's a blue card. I don't have any money, so rewind, rewind. Well, I'll have to do that next time. So instead, uh, I can do this. I can change trade one. Let me make sure that's right. Sell a flavor tile for a silver. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to sell this. Uh, mint for a silver because I need that money. I was too big of a spender, Wendelius. I've spent too much. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Six money. Back over to me. Now I can do it. Um, and then I need, I've got what I need. I need another. Yeah, I could fulfill two orders, but you can only do one. Yes, that big, yes, it's catching up with me. So um, I will go to, I don't need to go to the market either. I don't want to reserve this for. I got to do something. Um, I'll go to the market. market. He's got all the gold coins, so I can't get gold. Get three when you go to the market, and I'm just going to buy one thing so that I can keep the money. You always have to buy something when you do the go to market action. You can't just take the three coins and then be done with it. So I'm gonna buy that ginger. Oh no. <sighs> okay. Um, and then refill.
And now I am going to fulfill an order. And I've got to pay blue player because I'm going to use the blue T token. So here you go. Take the blue. Put it in here. So I've got strawberry, lemon, mint, ginger, and milk. Oh, yeah. I would love to keep that three in my pocket, but I can't. Okay. So I got a tip. I got a coin. And there's Steve Games joining us. Steve Games is the publisher of this game. Thanks for joining the stream. Um, glad you're here. And thanks again for the game for me to show everybody. Show it off to everybody. All right. So that was my turn. I need to take this and put it over here. And we put another card out. Another red. That's good for me. Now AI Alex Idiot is going. He's just getting money. He is he is taking all the money. You can't see it because it's off screen a little bit, but let's see if I no that will that won't do it. But he's got like all the money. This is ridiculous. <laughs> all right, two, one. Okay. I it might run out. I hope not. Okay. Cause we only need I forgot to. We're on this round again. Ah, thanks. Thank you for uh, liking my AI name. Okay. So, what am I going to do? I can pay, I can do this, right? No, I need milk. So, I'm going to have to go get some milk. Unless I can do I can't do any of these. So, I'm going to go get some milk. Now, there's not any over here. So you can, if nothing over here is what you want, has, is what you want, you can pay a coin to wipe it all out and get get um, refill it. But then I could also just go over here for free and take three out of the bag, hoping I get the milk that I need. I think I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna pay the coin and wipe all this. That way I get five opportunities instead of three. Not milk. Not milk. Not milk. Not milk. And milk. Woo! Got what I needed. All right. Wendelius. Is the game a set number of rounds and then scoring based on orders fulfilled? Is there also the notion of having to play with other players? to fulfill orders in their color in multiplayer? That's a great question. So um, there is a set number of rounds. There are five rounds. And again, a round is over whenever all the cups are, are filled. Those orders have been fulfilled and there are no more tip tokens. So yes, and then you score based on the orders that each player has fulfilled. And then you get a point for each coin or whatever the denomination is that you have left over. So that's what your points will be. Um, the notion of having to pay, play other, pay other players to fill orders in their color. That's absolutely right. So if um, we had a, um, a, a player that was using the white color and I needed that to fulfill, of course, I don't have any other colors out here because none of those people are playing. You mix up all of the players' cards and that's how you get the colors out there. But I'd have to pay them a coin, a one coin, copper, uh, to use to take one of their tokens and put it in the T to fulfill that order. So it's a neat kind of thing where it's not like too, too uh, high of a price to do that. And they can't tell you no. So if you want it, you, you, they have to actually give that to you. And then once you run out of those tokens in any color, you have to remove those cards from the game um, because you can't obviously make those orders anymore since those T tokens are gone. Hopefully that answers your question. If not, feel free to uh, ask and I can clarify. So yeah, this, let's remember that this is what I reserve. So I can do this now. I have my sugar. Wait, I haven't got my milk yet. One, two, three. I'll just take those three. I have to get rid of one, so I'll keep the milk and I keep the vanilla. Okay, and I'll put this over here. And we refill. One, two, three. Okay, uh, now I can fill this order. So, milk, sugar, and 
Ginger. Order filled. Oh, and my tea token. Did I get a tip? Yes, I got two. Thank you, kind lady. Okay, and that's the end of that round. Two more rounds. There's a slight chance I missed one <laughs> and I'm actually doing an extra round, but it's fine. Um, okay. So next, to reset for the round, I'm gonna dump all this stuff out. Actually, one, two, that's how I can determine. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so we're right. Just count the number of T tokens and I can figure that out. Stuff's falling, it's going everywhere. Okay, oops, I'm not supposed to look at it. I gotta shuffle, I accidentally saw what the tip was. Okay, and I'm sad, I'm out of tea. I need someone to go make me some tea. Laura, are you watching? Can you go get me some tea, please? All right, new round. That was my turn, so now it starts with, oh, I need to clear these two. At the, be at the beginning of a new round, you clear the first row. Ah, I didn't put them in the bag this time. Upside Down Strawberry. Sounds like a band name. We are the Upside Down Strawberries. Okay, you go first, which means they will draw a new ability card and automatically goes here. Replaces the ability card that I like. So this one means you can change any of your two uh, ingredient tokens, market or um, pantry tokens, for one. So that's there. If I want to use it, I probably won't. Okay, so they'll go first. Alex Idiot. All right, so they've got an order to do. And they get a tile here. This is the time whenever they just take the lowest value card. Oh, and it's in my color, which means they have to pay me. Finally get some of that money that they've got. So they'll take one of my... T tokens and it'll go in there and they get that. Okay. And it doesn't look like you can fill anything, so it goes back to me. All right. Look at this. This is a 12 and I need a lot. What's the likelihood? See, I, I'm so low on money that I hate to pay blue but I'm really close to actually filling this one. This one would take me quite a while. What should I do? This is only eight points. It's, time's running out, so I'll go ahead and go for this one. So I've got um, strawberry, mint. I need lavender or another mint. Mint's over here. I can get these. I could get, that would be helpful. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go to the market, I get three. Boom, I'm gonna spend the two to get these three. Shh. And refill. Yeah, the cascading market is, um, it's it's kind of like, it's one of those things where if you're not paying attention, oh cool, they, they slide down, but you really can plan your purchases to line up the other ones and be beneficial for you. And I like that element of, of a little bit extra, oops, I'm underneath my face. I have a little bit extra strategy uh, there when I'm taking ingredients. So that means I don't think I want to buy anything else since I already filled it up. I need, what was I looking at? This one. I've got everything that I need. So to end my turn, I'm going to fill this order, pay him a coin, get Blue token and strawberry, mint, mint, lavender, boom. So I take this, it's done. Get a tip, did I get a tip? Yeah, I can get a free ingredient. So it's like you give somebody their tea and somehow, some reason, they've got like milk in their pocket or <laughs> some sugar cubes. Here you go. Here's some sugar cubes for doing a good job on my tea. I think it's funny. All right, there's some honey. 
Time to stand. I can't stand. Um, so that was my turn. Time for Alex. Wow. Filling another order and taking more money. So he will take the smallest one and to the left if there's a tie. So that's this one. And since it's blue, blue goes here. So now there's no more blue uh, leaf tokens. So we've got to take out all the blue cards since they cannot be made anymore. I should give these a good shuffle again. Oh, cool. The Aurora Borealis. And a merry-go-round. Okay, now it's my turn. What should I go for here? Still have this one. For 12 points. Ah, it's just gonna... There's... I could get... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. 60 tokens for players. So I've done five rounds. So is this my last round? Or am I on a sixth round? <laughs> Thanks for the tip, by the way. Um, let's go... I'm going to go for it. So I need to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the market, get three coins. Pay one to take this. And then we'll watch what happens. Whoosh, goes together. And now I'm going to buy all of these ginger for two. Oh, that makes sense. Now, I see what you're saying now. Um, and now I can do this because I have one, two, three, four, because I'm using wild lavender and chamomile maybe, and a red. Boom. I take this. Five rounds as 10 customers are complete, but all good. All right, Ruba's time, that's right. And I get a flavor tile that I will not use. So, I started the game, so he still has one more turn to do what? Get more money, sure. All right, this is going to be fun to calculate here. So there, game over. We're at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, uh, temperature that tea is most delicious at. So um, I'm going to have my friend Google help me out. That'll be much more, much quicker. Hey, Google, what's 15 plus 9 plus 11 plus 7 plus 8? 50. Cool. So then I've got some money left over. 54, 55, 56. 56 points for me. 56. All right, now this is going to be hilarious. 14, 20. Yeah, 14, 20, 24, uh, 32. They've got 32 in all this money. Wow. This is what they end up with. <laughs> all right, 32. 35, 38, 41, 44, 47. <laughs> I got Lance's Google to answer. That's hilarious. 47. Um, yeah, they're going to beat me. So we're at 50 already. 52, 54, 56, 58. 60, 62, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 70 to 56. Well, I tried my best. <laughs> awesome. Well, that was fun. And thank you all for being here. I hope you um, got a, a feel for the game. I'm going to go back over to here. So, um, again, that was the solo mode. And you can play this up to five people. 
Um, and I played it last night with my wife, and it was very enjoyable. It was nice. The only thing missing, we sat down, we got started playing it, and uh, we realized we didn't have any tea. So that was quite disappointing. But um, it was still fun, and I'm excited to play it with more people because I think that when you have more people, the, the interactions are um, – there, there's a greater opportunity for interactions because, you know, you're taking in more, have the op ability for people to take the tiles that you want. Um, then that might ch set up chain, uh, chaining. Um, thanks for joining Wendelius. Yes, this is, this is a great family weight game. Um, but yeah, and then you've got m many more colors to choose from when it comes to um, fulfilling orders and that kind of thing. Um, it's a very charming game. And I think that, um, I know it's been out for a while. I know a lot of people do enjoy it. I'm excited to uh, give my review on it. So again, that is Chai. And thank you all so much for coming. If you have any other questions, comments, I'll leave it up here for just a few more minutes. While I clean my wounds or lick my wounds, whatever the phrase is. Um, I love the deluxe components, of course, the metal coins, the cups. And the ability to actually play this, because there is another solo version. It's kind of a basically a a beat your score kind of thing, where at the end of the game, you have a score and it'll tell you um, how well you did. Uh, let's see. You can be a sommelier, sommelier, if you get 60 or more points. So in this case, I would not be one of those. Um, then 50 to, nine, 50 to 59 is a master, 40 to, so I'd be a master. That's good, I'll, I'll take master. Apprentice is a 40 to 49, and Tea Taster is 0 to 30. So when I did play it, the regular rules for solo, I did. I was a Tea Taster. I did not do well. <laughs> but this was fun. And there are rules for co-op. It'd be interesting to try those. So, again, that's Chai. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on the next stream, whenever that may be. I'll stop now. <laughs>